Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello, happy yeah. day. Happy day, happy day. Well, not for everybody. Oh, for most people have taste. Thundercats Roar has apparently been officially canceled. Am I supposed to be sad or happy? Because in reality, I'm just like, ha! Ah! Time. <laughs> so Sorry, we're, we're gonna talk about that now you know there's been talk that it was probably canceled because they dumped the remaining episodes in a very bad time slot and also warner media has been uh pruning back on some cartoon network shows in fact they've been canceling shows that were already in pre-production uh, because of everything going over there but now it looks like we have our confirmation that this is the end of the road for thundercats oh. roar it's been spayed Let's take a moment of silence. Okay, let's yeah. talk about it. <laughs> anyway, uh, so let's talk about something more fun like us. Uh, guys, we do have pre-orders up for the new Clownfish TV pins. Look at that. Look There's at that. me. Look at There's that. There's you. There's me and you together. We also have some other holiday merch. Uh, in fact, we have a happy fist of a sweater. A happy holiday shirt. We got a beanie hat. And uh, there's a very, very limited supply of the Bubbly Steve pins from the last pre-order. You can check it out at shopclownfish.com. I will put a link in the description. And let's go back to this. Yes, um, this is what people care about. Anyway. It is. It is. <laughs> so anyway, this is coming from Marley Halpern Grazer, who apparently works on the show. And uh, we're going to give people's reactions here too. But uh, it said today... Cartoon Network aired the Thundercats War episode Groon. There's a Thanksgiving episode airing tomorrow and a Christmas special on the Christmas, Christmas special. Because now they're going to ruin Christmas too. Christmas special. Wasn't enough for you to ruin Thundercats? You have to ruin Christmas as well? Uh, there's a Christmas special on the way, but this was the final episode we produced. That means Thundercat guest stars uh, in and wrote a song for our last episode. They're going to make it a musical? A musical. Thundercats the musical? I'd be pretty surprised if we got to make any more. You never know. So, <laughs> so I'd like to say I had a great... Yeah, we know. We know what's going to happen or not happen. So I'd like to say that I had a great time working on this show, and I'm really proud to have been part of such an amazingly talented team. Uh, every artist on the show, starting with Victor, Victor Courtright, and going all the way down to our revision, revisionist. So talented. So talented. <laughs> <laughs> they were so talented it made me physically ill. It made a lot of people, their talent made a lot of people physically ill. So, you know. I'd look at the new art and say, that's so good, I'm sick now. Yeah, we'd look at the art and say, that's something, and we're sick now, too. Ah, uh, yeah, so. I can't believe that. I'm in my head trying to think of musical numbers. <sighs> and remember, <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, meow, this is shit, this is shitty, shitty, shit. We're balloon animal shit. I don't know. I'm not very good at this shit. Shit, shit, balloony animal shit. I don't know. Shit. It's just, see, you know, it's like, boom, you know. Boom, 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 boom. I just, I'm just, I don't know. Merry Christmas. Oh, man, why did it have to end it one season? It was just getting good. <laughs> With an Animaniacs icon. Okay. So Twitter reacts, of course, cartoon Twitter reacts. And this is a show that a lot of people did not like. No. Uh, we're going to talk about some of the reactions to it outside of Twitter, some of the uh, the critical reviews and the drama around the show. Of course, for those of you who are not familiar, blink and you miss it. This was a, a uh, deboot of Thundercats featuring ridiculous cartoon balloon, balloon animal animals. versions of themselves. They pissed on the original show on multiple, multiple occasions. Yeah, it's like they, they went out of their way to, to make it as, you know you know irreverent as possible and then but then but then saying that we're the spiritual successor it's like the guy clearly hated thundercats yeah i mean yeah. as much as i complain about shira the shira art looked a, a million times better than thundercats and that's saying something yeah and that would be uh victor courtright who was the director of thundercats hated his brother apparently apparently hated thundercats, apparently did not grow up with this show but uh you know he's 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 like hey um he's a, he's addressing his haters uh, because it's been polarizing and um, yeah, it's just, it's, it's been a shit show since the beginning. This whole thing has been a shit show since the beginning. And it does seem like Victor Courtright absolutely hated Thundercats. It was a very mean spirited show. It was. I it think so. It does. It's not going to sell toys either. No. And I think that's what got me about this one. And we, we ripped it to shreds when they dropped it. Um, 
you know, compared to Teen Titans Go, you can tell at least with Teen Titans Go, there's some respect for the original. This was just like, let's tear down Thundercats, tear down 80s cartoons, tear down toxic masculinity, and uh, do it in such a mean, mean-spirited way. I mean, one of the worst offenses on the show, I think, was um, the uh, the original voice actor of Panthro, who had mm-hmm. passed away, uh, they had a skeleton of dead Panthro hidden in the corner of, it was of one really of the episodes. Bad. It was like, what? I'm sorry, I can't get past his arm because his one arm is one proportion, his other arm is a completely different one. It's, this is how cartoons are balloon arms, sausage arms. Uh, sausage arms. So we'll we'll talk You're about that. That's a sausage. How Sa- misogynist of you. Yeah, right. I mean, look, a lot of critics didn't like it. First episodes of Thundercats were been released, and it's a big no. That was our joke, you know, Thundercats, you know, no! Um, <laughs> and there was a, you know, pissing match, of course, between the people working on the show and, and the fans. They had to have original OG lion show up just to tell tell the haters. That this is the, this is the new successor, because they prove it. Yeah. It's like, oh, there's Panthro. Yeah, Earl Heyman in the corner disgusting how they did that uh, you can't tell me they didn't know somebody had to spend a couple hours drawing the skeleton putting it in there and it wasn't they tried to say oh well it's because panthro died in the comic uh no this was the original panthro costume mm-hmm. and the uh, legendary earl hyman who was uh the dad on the cosby show he was granddad and um you know he's very well respected uh actor r.i.p and of course they took a shit all over him well you can just you know it doesn't matter who you are if it's a new show and it's these people in this mentality um you could just you could just say they took a shit all over it because that's all that you have to do to, to sum it up yeah well some people like it io9 loved it oh <laughs> are we surprised thundercats roar is really good this is exactly the kind of show i want to i want to tackle toxic masculinity with tackle those men I just, anyway. I just, I just, I saw the show. It was not a good show. It was not two stars out of ten on IMDb. Mm-hmm. People freaking... that did that. That did a concerted effort to vote it down. Well, it doesn't matter because it's gone. So here's Thank what. God. Here's what Twitter's saying. Bad tunes. Thundercats roar has been canceled. Oh no. Anyway. Ding anyway. Dong, the shit is dead. The stinky shit. The pile of shit. <laughs> is that another? Is that that's, another song? That's, that's from the musical. Thundercats roar the musical. Yeah. Ding dong, the stinky shit is dead. Uh, knowing officially that Thundercats Roar has been canceled, this didn't age well, did it? Talking about being a worthy successor, again, using OG lion Oh, that's um, right. I forgot. He said it's a poop mouth with a poopy opinion. A poop mouth with poop Anybody opinions. Anybody who disagrees, yeah, he said, if you, you, you show me that Thundercats Roar is a worthy successor. And anyone who says otherwise is a po- has a poop mouth with poopy opinions. Well, I guess we have a poop mouth thing because it's a piece of shit. shit is dead. I'm sorry. It's a piece of shit. It's officially canceled. Oh, how I wish Thundercats Roar wasn't canceled, said the person with the 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 Tigra. Yeah. I, well, I don't even have words. I mean, I'm just like, I'm more surprised by this. It's like, look at all the people that were defending it. Look at their avatars. I mean, it's yeah. like, it's exactly what you'd expect for most of the people. Yeah, it is. It is. It's uh, not good. It's not a good show. A lot of people uh, not really shedding many tears. Of course, you know, we're going to have people out there that be like, it was a good show. It got good ratings. It only got canceled because Warner Media ran out of money. No, it only got canceled because the haters. It's okay when we cancel stuff, but it's not okay if you try to cancel it. Yeah. Um, DJ Blackhammer on Twitter. With Thundercats Roar along with Rise of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles officially canceled. I never even bothered watching nope. it. Uh, Animaniacs 2020 having mixed to mediocre reviews and She-Ra 2018 fandom dying after the live stream. This might send a message to animation studios. You don't need to reboot a show yes. or reinvent the wheel. Thank you. Yeah, that's Maybe true. Maybe make your own stuff. And you know what? It also should send a message to these studios, especially since anime is doing so well. That's you need to stop with this art style that sucks. It looks like shit. People hate it. Just stop. Just stop. And stop, stop dumbing it. down shows. Why does they keep like taking this art style to good shows like Thundercats and She-Ra? Why do they keep doing that? It's like they're, they're, they reboot it with this art style. And it's like they're trying to dumb it down. It's like kids aren't that stupid. Kids like the originals and they were children and they got it. You don't have to dumb down the art style to appeal to people. You're only appealing to a certain demographic and it's not the demographic that spends money. It's not the demographic that you keep claiming you're appealing to. 
Yeah, it's basically the, the indie comics scene from Portland. That's what you're appealing to. You're not appealing to children. Uh, Adventure Time did it once successfully, and even Adventure Time kind of came off the rails and started to cater to a more adult audience. And then we had shows like Steven Universe, which, let's be honest, they were not created for children. Steven Universe was not created for kids. It's basically, this is the kind of show as an adult I wish I had when I was a and kid. And they all say that. If you listen to these showrunners, that's what they all keep saying. This is what I wish it would have been like when I was a kid. It's like, but it wasn't. And no one wants your version of the show. If you want to do a show, make a new show. But the art style is lazy. And you want to know why these studios want to know why anime is kicking their asses. Yeah. You know, this is because people, you know, people don't want that this you know childish bean face load of shit it, it, it's so it's so ridiculously simplified that it's, it's almost insulting and then it's like but it's okay because it's quirky and funny and a lot of times it's not even that yeah it's it's not quirky and funny and i'm sorry it looks like a doesn't even i mean hell even when we were kids we had better preschool shows yes better looking preschool shows when squid king was very little the original teen titans was on and it was miles ahead of, of what you're seeing from Cartoon Network right now. Uh, but again, that costs money. You know, it costs money to get top talent to put these shows together. Mm -hmm. It costs money to animate them well. Right. And this is, uh, you know, it goes back to what you were talking about with uh, That Star Wars Girl mm -hmm. last night about, you know, the difference in the animation from the filmation days to now and even little things like adding the joints to the characters. It, it right. costs money. Right. It, it, it's just, it's about... Uh, quality. It's not about quality. It's about quantity over mm. quality. Because they're trying to shit out as much as they can for these streaming services and everything else. And they're they're not. They're just like, well, we have to cut costs on all these shows to make as many as we can. What's cheap? This shit. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, Today's uh, word, in case you haven't guessed, is shit. Well, it's it's gone into the litter box where it belongs. Mm -hmm. uh, bury it. Bury it deep. Bury this thing in the litter box. And Do not scoop that section of the box. Just leave it in there. Yeah, never bring this back. Leave it alone. I don't even think Warner should be doing anything with Thundercats because that was a Rankin-Bass thing. They just happened to buy their assets, their IP. Yeah, I don't well, think that's they have what any it is. Right they, messing with it. What these studios have been doing has just been, what do we own that we could, you know, uh, you know, take out of, the, out of get and just reuse it because it has a fan base and we can crap all over it. And, you know, what can we rep repurpose again? And that's what they're doing. We saw it with she with Thundercats. You know, they keep doing this. And then I'm sure they're going to do it with other shows. I guarantee, because they're, they're too dumb to figure out this is not a good way to go. Yeah, now the one the one good thing they did do with Thundercats, so got to got to restate, uh, 2011. Yes, they did good with that. They did very good with that. But the people who worked on that show clearly gave a shit. Right. And you look at the quality of, of Thundercats 2011 compared to this, and it just shows... That more than anything, compare He Man 2002. I was going to say He Man 2002. To She Ra, mm -hmm. to Netflix She Ra, and compare Thundercats Roar to Thundercats 2011. And just in the last like 10 or 15 years, just the decline in the quality of animation. And it's easier than ever before to, to do good animation because of all the tools that are out there. It's just that it's always done on the cheap. Right. And, it, and it's ridiculous. It's simple, simplified as much. And one person does it, one show's successful, and then they think that every show has to be that way. Yeah. And it, it's just stupid, and it's insulting, and I'm so tired of it. And, uh, you know, even going forward, He-Man, the new He-Man, is supposed to be looking really, really, really awesome as people did the what, Castlevania and stuff on the one yeah. show. Yeah. So the art isn't going to look like that. No, because Mattel wants to sell shit. They want to actually you know, have people watch the show and not be like, oh, it's this animation again. Forget it. Because as soon as you see that, as soon as you see the original and compare it to this, or even the 2011 and compare it to this, you're just immediately turned off. Like, I oh, yeah. don't. I No. What's well, not for you is for children. My kids didn't even want to watch it. No, uh, we, we had to. Oh, God. I watched like two episodes. And I'm like, I am out. Mm -hmm. I am beyond out. And this isn't even like. Oh, okay. This is kind of a cute homage to the original. This is a mean spirited, it is mean -spirited. deconstruction of '80s cartoons and Thundercats and uh, everything that that these Tumblrites complain about with '80s cartoons. And uh, it was just a very mean spirited show. And the fact that they paid millions of dollars to make yeah. this garbage, which shits on a show which was at the time one of the most expensive shows on mm -hmm. TV and impressive shows. Yeah. But you know, whatever. This, you know, why don't it's you just over. go make new things and stop repurposing everything else badly? If you're going to repurpose something, at least do it justice. At least care about it. At least make it look good. But you're not even doing that anymore. You're, it's like you're not even trying at this point. 
And no. you get a show, and you get a show. And it's like they have a meeting. Do you, do you like this IP? No, I hate it. Perfect. You get the show. Yeah, exactly. That's what it feels like. So stop it. We got to subvert those expectations. It's the Ryan Johnson style of storytelling. Yeah. And I think this is ending. We had about five or six years where we were deconstructing uh, 80s, 90s pop culture. And I think it's ending because these companies actually want to make money. Right. And they can't replicate something. They're not going to replicate no. it because it was a completely different time. And you, you know, you keep wanting to repurpose and replicate something that happened decades ago. And but you want to disrespect it at the same time. It's like you can't have it both ways. Just make something new. Yeah, well, that's that's a risk, and that's it. more than this. At this point, I think it's riskier to do pools and shit like this. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what they're thinking. So hopefully, they will think long and hard about what they've done and not do it again. But I'm sure know. they will. I'm trying to think of more songs. Jingle bells, mumra smells, lino got away. There's our Christmas special. There we go. All right, we're gonna wrap it up. Yeah. Okay, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye.